it's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a really cool Instagram tag for your vlogs or any type of video that you want to apply this to. It's very easy, no plugins, no presets. Uh, is necessary or needed for this. So all of the tools that we're going to be using is built in into Final Cut Pro 10. So if you guys are enjoying the more frequent uploads on my channel, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video. What you want to do first is go into the titles over here on the left, and you're going to go into the generators tab. We're going to go into the elements tab and we're going to go in uh, the shapes here. So all you're going to do is click and drag and just drag this into the timeline. So once you've added this into the timeline, what you're going to do is just trim this. So press shift Z to see the timeline and just trim that there. Press shift Z again and it's going to look just like this. We're going to get a circle. So what we're going to do first is change the shape of this. So we're going to change this into a rectangle. And it's going to look like that. The fill, we're going to keep that checked and we're going to uncheck the outline unless you want that, but we're going to un uncheck that. And then fill color, we're going to click on that little box here and we're going to change this down to a darker color. So I think that looks fine right there. And we're going to hit X and we're going to ignore everything. But if you guys want the drop shadow, as you can see, there's a very, very subtle drop shadow and you can see it with this. We're going to turn that off. Once you're there, what you're going to do is, unfortunately, we can't change the actual length or height of this for some reason. But you can, of course, create your own using just the custom one here. If you go into solids, you can use a custom one and just make it smaller. The only downside to that is you're not going to get the rounded edges here. So if we go to the corners, we're going to keep that to round. Here you're going to see roundness and you're not going to have that option in just the standard you know, custom uh, generator. So that's just a downside. So if your name is, you know, really long or it's pretty short, you can't change this, but you can make the text smaller or bigger. And I'll show you that in just a second. So we're going to increase the roundness to nothing too crazy, but we're going to make it to around eight. I think eight is the perfect number. So type in eight and everything is good. So once you're there, we're going to create another shape. So all you got to do is hold option and drag upwards and you're going to have another a rectangle but what we're going to do is change the shape of this one to a diamond and we're going to remove the roundness and we're going to make the size smaller so go into the video properties here go into transform and we're going to go into scale and we're going to just make this a lot smaller and we're going to drag the y-axis up just like that to create kind of like our little pinpoint area cool so once you're there all you have to do now is group them so highlight both of those clips right click and go to new compounds clip we're gonna give we're gonna give this a name and we're just gonna name this uh, tag. Press OK and it's going to look like this. So now it acts as one clip. So once you're there, we're gonna go into the titles now and we're gonna go into the just click on titles and go down to basic title. Click and drag that in your timeline and we're gonna shift Z to see our timeline. We're gonna click and drag to trim the title and once you're there, all you gotta do is just move the title so it's centered around that halfway marker area. It's, it'll snap too, and if you don't have the snapping, you can just go to window or I think it's under view, and snapping should be enabled. So once you're there, you can just change the text to whatever you want. I'm gonna just change it to King Tuts Pro, and that is my actual Instagram handle. So if you want to follow me on IG, just go to my IG there. So font, we can do Helvetica or you can do Helvetica New. I think this is a standard font. However, you can use any font that you desire. Uh, you can use like really nice script fonts, but I think I'm just going to keep it nice and classy and stick with the Helvetica font. And we're going to increase the size quite a bit. We're going to recenter this again, highlight both of them again, the title and the tag grouped clip. We're going to right click and go to new compounds clip to create another one. And we're going to name this, I'm going to name this final tag and press OK. And now you're going to have this here. So in order to make this smaller, just go back to the transform settings here. Go to scale and just make this smaller like that, or you can make it bigger, a little bit like that. I think it looks good, 65%. And now I'm gonna click on this little uh, icon for the transform tool, and we're gonna click and drag this wherever you want. You can drag this over a subject. So I'm gonna move this right over here, and you want to find a point where you think you can track this. So I'm gonna use this little kind of camo dot area on his jacket. So I'm gonna move this little triangle point right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the playhead to the beginning and just reposition this to uh, like run around here. 
I'm going to click this little plus icon to add a keyframe and hold shift and press the right arrow key on your keyboard. We're going to click and drag this over to the right there. So it should look like this and then press shift right again. And this will skip some frames so that it's not too choppy of a selection, not selection, but of a keyframe. So we're going to move this back down like that. Hold shift, press right arrow on the right arrow key and move this back. And you're just going to keep doing that so that you can follow this little point here or wherever you're going to be tracking. We're going to do two roughly three seconds before it goes out and we're going to click done, push play. Looks like that. Again, it's not going to be perfect. We're not using any actual plugins or anything like that. So once you're happy with this, we're going to create the actual animation in and out. So to do that, we're going to go to scale all and make sure you have the playhead at the very beginning. We're going to go and uncheck this little piece here to remove those keyframes for scale. Before you add a keyframe, make sure it's at zero. Add a keyframe and go shift right on the arrow key to go, I think, two frames over. And we're going to go back to that percentage or whatever scale you, you think looks best, which I think about here. Yeah, it looks good. So if I go back and push play, it looks just like that. And we're going to play it through. And once it stops moving, you can also check by right clicking on the clip and go to show video animation. And right there, so we're going to create another keyframe under scale all. Then press shift right on the arrow key and just drag the scale all to the left so it's at zero. So now when we go back and push play, it's going to animate in and it's going to animate out like that. Super smooth, very easy to do. And you can do this for multiple people. So you can just hold option upwards. It's gonna look like this. So all I'm gonna do now, we're gonna to have to reset the actual points for position. So just reset those. You might also have to reset the scale of this one as well. So we might have to kind of make this smaller. Of course, you would change their Instagram tag. From this point, all I'm gonna do is just change the name. So just double click on this tag here, go to the title and just change this to something else like uh, Alex or something. Or you can do, yeah, like Alex. We can go back and you can, of course, then keyframe it again to that person. So it's very easy. And of course, this will also change it on, on the other, on the main subject because we haven't actually changed, we haven't given this another name. So you're gonna have to create or change the name on this one as well. That's pretty much this uh, cool little Instagram tag pop-up thing and no plugins are required, which is the best part about this kind of effect. So if you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more videos this week. Peace out.